divas, welcome back to another episode of Jaleesa's Fashion Files. As you can see, I'm super excited because it's New York Fashion Week and it actually ends today. But I've been having so much fun, having so much inspiration, seeing all the different collections being debuted and just being inspired by the runways and street fashion and all of that good stuff. And if you follow it, I know that you guys have been having fun as well because it's been a really fun time. So uh, that's also why I'm wearing my funky glasses that I love so much. Uh, they are by Francesca's Boutique in case, in case you guys are interested. If you are, I'll have the information down below if they still have them. But I really, really love them and they're super funky and cool. I like them. <laughs> so anyway, um, this video is going to be on how to effectively remove scuffs from your patent leather shoes. Now I love patent leather shoes. I love the sheen finish. I really like the style. But one of the negative things about having them and wearing them is that that they can get scuffs and when they do it's just it's like a huge black scuff and it's just annoying even though it may not be huge just looking at it in your head you're like that's huge even if it's like this small just because of the contrast with the color of your shoe it can be super annoying and I wish I knew this strategy before because I would have saved myself having to throw away some of my shoes that just had a whole bunch of them on my shoe and it was just irritating me and I would have been able to wear my shoes a lot longer and obviously avoid having to do that so hopefully I can spare you guys from doing that by showing you a new method that I've been introduced to and that effectively works in removing them. So of course I'm going to show you the shoe that we will be working with. Um, so you obviously are going to need your shoes that you have your scuff marks on and if you don't you can at least save the video, share it with someone that you find that will find it helpful in case they are ready or you are ready to remove a scuff because if you have a pet and lather shoe it's bound to happen. It's, I went a year without scuffing these babies and just last week had to happen, had to mess up the flow, Jaleesa, right? Had to mess it up. Anyway, so what you're gonna need is just two things. You're gonna need an acetone-free nail polish remover and a Q-tip, that is it. And you most likely have these two items in your house, so you won't have to do any shopping. And if you don't, don't worry, It's they're very cheap, right? And it's something that you're going to be using, so it's worth purchasing anyway. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom you guys in, show you the scuff, and we're gonna work our way through it and eliminating it. So here is that annoying scuff that I was talking about. I know some of you might be like, it's not a big deal, but again, look at it. It's black and my shoe is pink, so it's really annoying. <laughs> So anyway, we will be effectively removing this baby. So, like I said, we're gonna need a Q-tip, here it is, and a acetone-free nail polish remover. So, we're just gonna dip the Q-tip into the nail polish remover, and then we're going to be rubbing it on the mark. So now the Q-tip is saturated in the acetone-free nail polish remover, and then now we're just going to be um, rubbing it on the scuff to remove it, so. As you can see, it's starting to lighten up. See, it's starting to fade. You can use a cotton ball if you have one, but I thought to use a Q-tip because I think it's more precise and it gives you more control since you can um, squeeze it and it's just more narrow. But if that's all you have, you can feel free to work with what you got, girl. Work with what you got. So, okay, as you can see there, the material is not getting ruined. And we're just going to rub, rub, rub. See, now it's just light. Now that we have removed the dark scuff, we can actually now use a cotton swab and just um, move the cotton swab back and forth because it's just gonna obviously cover more area instead of having to sit there and scrub. Now you wanna take your time and scrub because if you scrub too hard, it's going to actually remove that um, patent leather fabric and you're going to have like, it's gonna look like plastic is peeling off the shoe. So um, once you see that the actual dark black scuff is removed, then you can go ahead and use a cotton swab. And if you were using a cotton swab in the beginning then obviously then you would continue using it okay. 
<laughs> hi, Judah. Did you come to say hi? Mm, Papa? So as you guys can see, the scuff is completely gone. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful in removing those stubborn and annoying scuff marks from your shoes. As you guys can see, the scuffs are complete, or the scuff, I only had one, the scuff is completely gone from my shoe and now I can feel good wearing my pink heels again without that annoying black mark. So hope this helps you guys and I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And until next time, don't forget to stay beautiful, confident and true to your beautiful self. I will see you guys